Hello guys, it's me your mom Jo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you like and subscribe. For today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve problems using molarity. When we say molarity, it is the unit of solution concentration. It can be calculated by the body in the moles of solute by liters of solution. And the formula of molarity is equal to moles of solute per liters of solution. Molarity is abbreviated by the capital M, which stands for moles per liter. And then a lot of calculations, molarity can also be used as a conversion factor. Make sure that be careful not to confuse molarity, capital M, with moles. Oftentimes, moles abbreviated with the lowercase m. And this can be confusing incorporated in the concept of molarity which is abbreviated with the capital M but remember moles and molarity is not the same so let's try a problem let's put it into application okay problem number one what is the molarity of a solution formed from 6.75 grams sodium chloride dissolved in water to make a solution with a total volume of 452 ml. Remember that we know molarity is equal to moles per liter and so we have some amount of sodium chloride or moles on top and some volumes of solution or liters on the bottom in this given example we have neither moles nor milliliters but we know that the amount of solute is given to us in grams at the top and the volume of solution is given to us as milliliters on the bottom now in this example we will use a dimensional analysis to convert grams to moles and milliliters to liters to come up to our final answer in molarity so we can use a periodic table to come up with 58.44 grams of sodium chloride so using the periodic table the molar mass of sodium is equal to 22.99 grams per mole while chlorine has 35.45 grams per mole so we'll multiply this by one because the number of an atom of sodium is only one and as well as chlorine it has only one number of atom so after multiplying we will add this to get 58.44 grams of NaCl so this allows us to cancel out the grams okay so we now have the unit moles per ml but remember that molarity is moles per liter so we need to convert ml to liters we know that there are 1000 ml in 1 liter so by writing 1000 ml on the top this allows us to cancel ml and leaves us with the unit of moles on the top and liters 
on the bottom which exactly we are looking for when we are trying to solve for molarity so when we solve this calculation we'll find at the molarity of solution is equal to 0 0.0256 mole per liters or 0 0.0256 molarity okay so let's start the problem using molarity as a conversion factor problem number two is how many grams of potassium hydroxide are required to make 250 ml of six molarity of a solution of potassium hydroxide Oftentimes, we are confused about what we are to start with. Is it 250 ml to begin our calculations or the value of 6 molarity to begin our calculations? But the question is, how many grams? So, grams is a singular unit. So, we'll start with... 250 ml because ml is also a singular unit now molarity was abbreviated with capital M means moles per liter and so we have this value as a conversion factor to convert between mass and volume so let's start our problem by writing 200 50 milliliters now that the conversion factor were given 6 molarity is moles per liter so if we want to use this conversion factor we first need to convert 250 ml into liters so we cancel out ml or milliliters we see that we have the unit of liters and this allows us to use our molarity value 6 moles or 6 molars to convert from liters to moles note that I wrote 6 moles on the top of potassium hydroxide per liter this is because I already have liters on the top and I want liters to cancel out if we were to set this problem now we have an answer now in moles of potassium hydroxide and so we need to convert from moles to grams using the molar mass of potassium hydroxide which is 56.1 grams so 56.1 grams using the periodic table of element will get the molar mass of these three elements so potassium has 39.10 grams per mole and we'll multiply this by 1 because potassium has only one number of atom and as well as oxygen and hydrogen but the molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams per mole while hydrogen has 1 gram per mole so after multiplying We'll now add this 3 and then we'll come up with the total of 56.1 grams of potassium hydroxide per mole. 
So this allows us to cancel out the units of moles and it gives us the final answer of 84.15 grams of potassium hydroxide. Okay, so please don't forget to like and hit the bell button para updated ka sa mga latest upload. Kindly subscribe, Trump PH. Maraming salamat po. 1,000 times and more to go. Thank you for watching. God bless you and stay safe.